and and that's and it can grow organically through you and I know you've already been growing it in your in your campuses and, and your communities um, and we, we can't reiterate enough just the the, the need to just be as welcoming and positive and like at the last minute, hey, we're standing for we're standing for California Community Colleges. This is going to be the largest event in California's history. Join us right now, just for five seconds, when we're just holding hands. And um, really, and this is something that you can, I think, invigorate your friends and family by telling them this literally will be, with your help, the largest event in California's history and the largest event to support higher education in the U.S. history. The largest event to support higher education in U.S. history. Because the California Community College system is the largest higher education system in the country. Uh, you probably all know, but 50% uh, of Californian adults go through the community college system at some point. 2.8 million students are a part of the California Community College system. And so you all know how it touches your families or your friends or how the colleges are a resource in your communities. And so if you're, you probably are already using the talking points of your life and your experiences, but those are things that you can also reiterate to your friends and family uh, and outside of California who you might be asking to support you, um, support you like you'd be running a race uh, for a cause instead you're standing for a cause. Um, so remember the, the reach out, the organic, the creative growth, the safety, uh, the working as a team, uh, the need for uh, texting and, and responsive ability. Um, and I'm going to recap uh, a few things, and then I want to see if you have questions again. So I just want to go over that timeline. So Sunday, every line marshal needs to check in at a check-in point. The check-in point locations will be emailed to you for your region. Uh, and I'm just going to give the names of the regionals if you're not already familiar with them. In Sacramento, we have Stefan Page. In the Bay Area, we have Vashon Huff. In the central region, uh, in the northern and, and eastern central region, we have Sherry Holland. In, the south, in um, Santa Barbara, Oxnard, and Ventura, we have uh, Emily Allen. In the LA region, we have Courtney Connor, who's here with us today. And in the San Diego region, we have Matt Conop. And so you all should have received emails from them about this training so that you should already be connected to the regional director in your area. Where, and you should watch for emails from them. Or you might get an email from me, Heather Alsvik, uh, sending to the entire list saying, here's an update. Uh, we just want you to have this. But watch for emails from any of us in the next couple days that will give you the check-in points for Sunday. The check-in points for Sunday are important because you marshals will get your equipment. You'll get your t-shirt, your sign, you'll get your line assignment, and you'll connect with the, the line marshals that will be on either side of you that you can work with as a team. And you want to be equipped, right? You don't want to be starving. You don't want to have high heels on in the line. You don't want to uh, have, you know, if you've been up all night, just make sure that you have a little coffee to uh, keep you invigorated by the time you get there. Um, and so if you have friends who might want to join in as a volunteer, you can send them this email. And um, well, one thing is you could just call in to the next, you could call into the next line um, with the next call, which is at 10 o'clock. So the next call tonight, you could just call into the beginning of it. Or you could call into the call tomorrow at noon, tomorrow at 6 p.m. or Saturday at noon to get the beginning of the call. But you can definitely email your regional. Uh, your regional can connect you with your captain, but your regional could probably also uh, give you um, the information. And also a lot of the information is in the volunteer line marshal email we sent. Did you get that email? That's how you got this information? Yeah, I did get that. I just I haven't seen uh, San Jose City College where we're planning on doing that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know that there's a there's a lot going on at San Jose, San Jose City College. So, okay. if you email Vishon Huff, who your email should have been from, do you remember? Yeah, it is. Okay, great. Email her back. I know that she's got a great captain. I think his name is Mike, um, leading there in San Jose, and that she can connect you um, with him. And then you can also just watch for, we're securing our check-in points for Sunday. One of the most important things to know is just that 
at Sunday by 12.30, ideally 12 noon, but by 12.30 we need each of the regionals to check in to a check-in location to get your equipment and your assignment as a line marshal. So if you're just planning that around somewhere in San Jose, you'll need to go to a check-in location by 12.30 so that you can get your line assignment, your t-shirt, and your sign um, to be in line by 1 p.m. And then at, at that point, you can text your friends and family, oh, this is where I'm going to be in, in San Jose. You can join me. Um, and that's probably one of the most important things to know. I also want to point out to you all that with the email that you received, you had an attached flyer. There is a one-page version and a two-per-page flyer. And you can print that out or you can forward that to your friends. And that's a great way to get the, the word out. So it just talks about the basic times and the text to give program. And we'll also, um, it, it, you could print that out just so you could have it with you over the next couple days. And we're going to hear something else from Ken Cragen. Uh, I just wanted to mention that if you can beg, borrow, or steal, well, actually don't steal it because that would be a negative, but if you can beg or borrow a megaphone, it will be enormously helpful to you. I was just down at Compton a week ago, and they organized kids all the way across the campus. It was a phenomenal event, especially for Compton. Nobody had seen anything like it. But one woman with a megaphone was able to get hundreds of students from one end of that campus to the other. Just one woman, you know, who happened to be the athletic director or the basketball coach or something, with some help of other monitors. But at least any of you and anybody working with you and anybody you know, try to find one of those megaphones or maybe go to a you know, a, an equipment store and see if they'll let you borrow one for a day. But try to get that. It really makes a difference in these large groups. Tremendous difference. Plus, you'll save your voice. So do that, please. Think about that. Anybody have any other suggestions, by the way, along those lines, things that you've thought of? Well, one suggestion like that is uh, trash bags. Um, at some locations, uh, we're going to have Panda Express and there might be other food vendors along the line or coffee vendors. Um, but Panda Express is excited to support us. And up and down the state as much as possible, they're going to have uh, their food kiosks out at a reduced price. And they're going to give 20% of the proceeds to Hands Across California. But one thing that always comes from you know people eating uh, is that there's something to throw away afterwards. So if, as a line marshal, when you're getting ready to leave your house that day, you think, you know, I'm just going to grab a trash bag and have it in my pocket, and I'm going to grab a couple Band-Aids and have it in my pocket, and I'm going to grab a granola bar in case I get hungry or, or somebody else does. Um, then you will be able to help us not only have a, a, an extremely positive line, but that we leave, leave the line clean and uh, free of trash and clutter. Now, if you want to bring a recyclable bag on one side and a garbage bag on the other side, this is California, then of course that would be wonderful. Um, and yes, if you can get your hand on a megaphone, that would be fantastic. But think about other things, think about other things that would help draw attention. Some people are getting their high school marching band to join. Uh, some choirs are standing in line together. Uh, some people who play an instrument, they're just going to bring their instrument and stand in line. I know that some schools have been, in, they've been conga-ing in line by hand. Um, or you could bring drums, or you can bring bells, or you can bring anything fun that will help to bring music and life and vitality and attention to where you'll be in the line. Uh, and I, we want to let you know on the documentation point, um, that uh, Hands Across California, the foundation for California community colleges, is creating a Flickr account uh, that you can upload your pictures and videos to, uh, you know, Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. So watch for that Flitter, Flickr account in the email addresses that we'll update you with, because we really want to see your documentation of the day. And I, it will be wonderful for everybody up and down the state to get to share pictures that way. But of course, we also hope that the media will cover it as much as possible. Continue to check out our website, too, because every time we have a new celebrity sign on to endorse us, we're adding their picture or their clip to the website, uh, as well as elected officials. We we're lucky to have a lot of um, uh, California elected officials support us, as well as former, uh, former President uh, Bill Clinton. Um, so we want to take a few questions and then let you go for the day. Are there any other questions about um, what the most important start time is for you on Sunday?
How about we just get a response? So are you supposed to show up for your check-in at 2 o'clock on Sunday? No. No. Are you supposed to um, wear high heels and be totally hungover and not bring your cell phone? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, what, what time and where are you supposed to start your line marshalling on Sunday? 12.30. 12.30. Thank you. And uh, what time would it be good for you to be in line as a line marshal? 1 p.m. 1 o'clock. Thank you. And when people show up to you in the line, you're just going to keep talking to your friend next to you and, and have your, the sign down at your hand and be like, yeah, just get in line wherever. Is that? No. No? No. So what would be a good approach as line marshal as you see people uh, looking and trying to join the line? Um, hi. Good. Pass them the door now. <laughs> good. And what's one of the most important numbers? Well, there are two really important numbers you can tell them for the day. What's one of those numbers? <clears throat> Two seven seven two two. Awesome. Two seven seven two two. Thank you. What's another number that's really a time that would be really important to tell them when they check in? One fifty nine. One fifty nine. And uh, that if people are checking time on their cell phones, that'll be great because we'll all be synced up through satellites. But it, oh, that's a good important point. Uh, as a marshal, you should be counting down that last minute. So pull your cell phone out, look at that last minute, and we'll literally count it down. Yeah. Okay? You know, we'll try to get radio in the local areas to do that too, but in general, you're going to be the ones. And get everybody to count with you. We did that in Compton the other day. You know, uh, everybody in the line counted down. I think we probably counted down from 20 or something like that, but as we, uh, as we got close, right, mm -hmm. Courtney? Yeah. But it was really fun, and then everybody just cheered at the end of it, and it was a great feeling, and it was, uh, that countdown is very, very important to just the feeling that, oh, we did it, you know, and we did it at this particular time, and we did it everywhere. Exactly. And so the countdown is the event. That's why we don't want to tell people 2 o'clock, because if they get there at 2.01, <laughs> Uh, hopefully you all, you all will be still standing, but they'll have missed the countdown just like a New Year's Eve countdown. But so, give them an alert too. Yeah. You know, say five minutes, ten, we got ten minutes to go, we got five minutes to go, two minutes to go, and then when you then start counting down from one minute to go. And, and be creative, work with your line, like, you know, telephone down the line. Okay, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Or get everybody to shout five at the same time, or give everybody to do a flash of hands five minutes uh, down the line. Uh, so just get creative, uh, assertively and positively shepherd your part of the line, and uh, we will give you that text blast right before, uh, right before you should join hands and start your countdown, and then we're going to give you another text saying, hey, we've heard from all of our regions, we've connected across California, and you can, you can cheer again. For that 15 minutes, we'd love everybody to stay in line, either stay hand in hand or do the conga, or really take that time to twit, to tweeter, <laughs> tweeter, to <laughs> take that time to tweet your friends, text your friends, text 72722. Uh, like, I'm in line right now and we've just connected California, so take those 15 minutes to really use as the, the celebration to take pictures with your friends, and then we'll give the all clear and then everybody can go on their way. Yeah, but if you, when you go on your way and tell everybody else, get those pictures up that day, get any video in that day. The sooner we get it in, the better chance you have being part of the whole story that we put out. So get, get everything in that afternoon. Use the time. If you go into the following week, if you're going back to school or if you've got the week off, you're, it's going to take days. And by the time you send it in to us, we will have long since put the story out. So if you've got great stuff or whatever you have, just get it into us right away. And if you've already created one of uh, a fundraising page for yourself, a first giving fundraising page, please be aware th again of the 50% matching grant and that you can raise funds for com uh, California Community College scholarships until June 30th. Thank you so much leading up to it. Document and quantify and see you on Sunday. And bring cameras. <laughs> yeah, bring cameras. See you Sunday. Bye. Bye. Great. Thank Bye. you.